actually, we're going through a lot of uh, different processes now in terms of looking at how to, how to audit. Um, we're working on all of that. Uh, we're also looking at the cap bus in terms of who got it, uh, what were some of the challenges. Um, as of last week, we also had a situation where um, when we reviewed, we realized some people had never gone to the banks to go and, well, and, and, and take they've the applied, the money has been disbursed to the bank. They had applied, they had been successful. Um, the, the funds had been uh, given to the banks to reach out to them. And for some reason or the other, um, from one bank there was about, or a group of them was about 1,500 accounts that had not been opened or taken over because the people didn't uh, go for the funds. It could either be because one, the person, di the main person died, the person who had put it there. It could also be because um, secondly, um, th we called and they didn't get through to them and you've tried several times and they didn't get through to them. It could also be because some people might have used their, uh, maybe the secretary or the plant manager mm. or someone's um, phone number and the person doesn't work there anymore and so did not pass the message on. So there are so many different reasons to it. So those accounts are there and um, as a team considering um, we're going to give it to somebody else, right? Because if um, they haven't come for it and we've tried, we even have a call center and we've tried several times to even reach out to people and some of them might even say, we don't need the funds anymore. These are 1,500 accounts. Yes. Any idea the total amounts that were in these accounts? No, I, I don't have the exact numbers because I wasn't sure this was But But, but, but these are, this is serious. At a time when people were complaining that we were struggling to get funds from the then National Board for Small Scale Industries, mm -hmm. the monies have been advanced to these banks and they're no longer interested. Yes, some are not. Um, one thing is that it's not everybody who we advance the funds mm. to. Let's be clear on that. But some also might not be interested anymore. It could be due to timing. It could be because they had stabilized quickly and they didn't want it anymore. Mm. Or they didn't want to use it for the purposes that they wanted to initially. So there are an array of reasons why. Could it um, be that the money was too small for them? It could also mean the money was too small for them. Mm. It, that, that could also be a reason. Yes, so we have various programs we're looking at, even under the funding, under the new Ghana Enterprises Agency. We talked about the enhanced business development services through our business advisory and business resource centers across the nation. And also really coming up with a game changer um, program, which we are, we, mm. we are designing, mm. which mm. looks at how do you change the lives or the business, how, the game changer for these enterprises in Ghana. Mm. What would it take? And it's all about intentionality. So how do we intentionally provide business support to them? Most people see the former NBSS, and I'm sure people are thinking we should be a funding agency. We are not a funding mm. agency. We'll provide the support needed to the business, be it technical, in some instances facilitate or provide access to finance. But we, are not, we do not want to be seen as a funding agency. We want to be seen as a total 360 support given to businesses when the need is there and when we have that resources to provide that kind of support.